Hello everyone. Um, we're here with an inter for an interview with the Danish national champion Daniel um, to walk us through his experience from playing in the national championships and his journey here today. So, Daniel, thank you for joining us. Thank you. How how was your national championships? How did you, how did you feel when you when you won that event? It felt amazing. Like I never expected to win. I went in with a deck with very little play testing. Okay. That's that's usually a risky thing because players spend a lot of time practicing. Uh, which deck did you did you take into this tournament into that tournament? I uh, I made a and a very original Shadal deck that made the anti spell fragrance and the hands ah, as yeah. as well as the star seraphs. Yeah, oh, so you were playing a whole lot of things in there. Yeah, and uh, before I went in, I I didn't play test a lot because I didn't want to show my deck to anyone because it ran on a lot of unexpected things. So your strategy was to actually capitalize on people being unprepared for these uh, cards that you don't see all the time or may not have been considered played together. Yeah. So uh, what sort of matchups was was considered really easy for you when you went when you were playing in that tournament? Uh, I made the deck to to generally beat Glyphoth because anti spell fragrance just shut shut them down. Yeah, absolutely. And the uh, anti spell fragrance and hand combo also kill kills the Necros deck. Yeah, so. that can always be pretty nasty. Yeah. So, so, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what would you say was your hardest matchup from that tournament? Or was it just like a, a cakewalk really easy for you? Um, I lost against Burning Abyss in the last round. Uh, I went 6 1 Swiss. Um, I couldn't do anything against them. <laughs> he just set off his back row and I, I couldn't get through. Uh, yeah, that, I guess that can happen. Was he playing like Fire Lakes and stuff like this? Yeah, yeah. He was playing 20 traps, I think. Wow. That's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a lot of that's a lot of purple cards to be facing down. Yeah. So coming into this tournament, uh, do you feel that you're going to be going a similar direction that you did for your nationals, or have you come back with a completely new homebrew recipe uh, for this tournament? I, it, it's kind of like the deck I played at the uh, at my nationals, but I improved it to to beat all the burning abyss players as yeah. well. So have, for this testing for this event, have you been following the North American live stream and their results? Um, I just saw a little bit of it. I didn't really have time at the, at the, when when it was uh, being live streamed, so I yeah, couldn't watch all of it. We did give you like a week's notice to, yeah. to do your research on this. So what are, what are you expecting the field to, to look like for this weekend? Are you expecting more Burning Abyss than anything else? Uh, I'm probably expecting uh, most players are probably still going to be playing Necros, um, but I feel like there are going to be a lot more Burning Abyss players, yep. uh, especially since they won the sure, NA uh, WCQ. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you feel prepared for that matchup? Yeah, uh, I play tested. Some of my friends uh, haven't lost a matchup yet. So, so would you say you practice like eighty hours a week, or? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> I think I practice like five hours. Oh, okay. Total. Okay. F fair enough. That's you know it doesn't matter. It works. I mean, you won a national championship, so you're yeah. obviously a very strong contender for this tournament. Um, what do you think of Dublin? Have you ever been here before? I have never been here before, but I'm sad that I won't have time to, to look around and go sightseeing. Oh, well, well, if you get knocked out, which isn't going to happen because <laughs> you're so prepared for this event, you I mean you can always take a look around Dublin. Yeah. It's it's really nice here. I've only been here once or twice when I was younger, so I'm now actually old enough to enjoy Dublin. Yeah. And I highly recommend it to anybody at home. Okay, uh, do you have any uh, other comments as sort of how you feel going into this tournament? Are you, are you confident? Are you nervous? Uh, is this your first time playing uh, in the European Championships? or? Uh, no, I participated last year. Uh, it went, I, I did terribly there. So my goal, first of all now, is just getting to day two. That's, that's, yeah, that's a very reasonable goal. It's yeah. a very reasonable goal. Hopefully we see you going through and winning the tournament or making it on to the live stream a little bit later. Hopefully. Okay, Daniel, thank you for your time. And thank you, everybody.